Alice, I'm the Fairy Voice Mother and today I'm going to be reacting to Seventeen performing a 20 minute spectacle for a series called Killing Voices. I have absolutely no idea what this is. I assume Seventeen is a band, perhaps with uh, Seventeen individuals. When I think of Seventeen I just think of having high expectations for a year in my life when I failed my driving test the first time and had chronic depression. Good times. But I like bands with loads of members. More people, more energy, extremely good organisation skills. I found it hard enough to manage a band with just me and two other people. We had two rehearsals before it just got too complicated. <laughs> so I've never been in a band since. Although I would absolutely love to, like a rock band. That would be so fun. Killing Voice does sound like something that on paper I would wholly object to. The voice is something that should be nurtured and full of life. Buckle up, fairy voice children, this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> wow! wow. So, so much enthusiasm! Yeah. It looks like they've just walked into a museum and seen something really exciting. You know what? Tell me! <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> Loving. <laughs> I'm trying to sort of figure out what's going on here, but every time I do, I'm just having such a good time. I lose my trail of thought and I just... I just keep bopping. They seem to all be taking it in turns to do like the lead singing and then the shoulder rubbing. <laughs> They're all so beautiful. Blimey. So they've put these little fuzzy things over their mics as opposed to a more conventional pop filter. You wouldn't be able to see their beautiful faces if they had the pop filter in, in front of them, which would just ruin the scenery. And obviously they're all different heights as well. And so if you've got to kind of sing into a pop filter. Devices like this are generally used to filter out plosive sounds like p and b and they're also good to reduce air sounds as well like excess breathing and due to the boppy nature of this and at the rate they're going with all the shoulder caressing I can imagine at some point the breathing does get rather heavy. <laughs> His control is very good. He's stretching a full belt quality right up to that A, which is quite high, but it seems to be extremely effortless for him. He's able to keep quite an open space here. Usually when we belt up towards the top of our range, we need to do some manipulation, maybe add a little bit of twang and scrunch the nose and that kind of thing. But he's just like, ah! which is exciting because that would then insinuate that he has a very high belt range. He's also dealt very well with the mic being far too low for him. Notice how he's kind of widened his stance a little bit and sunk into his hips. That means he's still got good control over the muscles in his back. And if you can control the muscles in your back, they can control your rib cage, which means you still get really good breath support. It's much better to do that than to go like, it's gonna cause you all kinds of problems. And I like his voice too. It's got a lot of sass. I've never seen a Disney Prince rap before. Smoky kind of gravelly rap. Tone. Followed by a pure sweet tone. <laughs> by another Disney prince with many components in the backing track dropping out to make way for it to sit on top. That was nice. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I like these two very much. Oh yeah. Oh, oh straight into my soul. Very nice. Whoa! Whoa! Come here, 
냐내고프면바바바너애는나저놈사전에널찾으면나로정이돼쓰좋게다말야그때오늘은대체어떻게해야돼This is choreographed because can you imagine the rehearsal? We're just gonna get you to just just don't ask questions. Five, six, seven, eight. Bang on the door. I need to eat. Aerate your friend's shoulder. Yeah, baby, come on. Mm. Awesome. Intermission growling. Creep, of course. And she's very touchy. The one with the red hair. The main shoulder toucher. I do like a nice touch on the shoulder myself. Very reassuring. It's nice to see some affection, actually. Uh, but it's just, I don't know why I'm finding it so funny. I mean, what does that say about my life? Anyway. Ooh, nice! Lovely little falsetto break. I love that. It's usually much more difficult to yodel downwards rather than upwards because when we go the other way around, we're coming from vocal cords that are thick and connected. So all you need to do to yodel up is just release them. It's a little bit more difficult to navigate on the way down because you're coming from an airy thin quality and you've got to somehow manage to close the vocal folds nice and neatly and adjust the breath pressure accordingly so the note remains stable once you hit it and doesn't crackle. I love that shiz. Are they little ladybug ears? I like his vibe. Yay! I like that one. Hang on a minute, has he drilled a hole in the lid of his water bottle to poke his straw through? Surely far more effort than just opening the lid or drinking it without a straw. Maybe I'm just lazy. Oh, I love this! Oh, they're really all involved in this one. It's like one line each. Oh. oh, nice! Oh, that vocal technique is so good. This little bunny nose scrunchy thing is actually really helpful to help support a uh, lift when you're singing in falsetto, especially when the interval jumps up and when it's the last note in a phrase. A last note in a phrase is notoriously difficult to control because sometimes as a singer, we don't know how to end. Are we gonna trail it on and add vibrato? Are we gonna cut it off? Are we gonna finish it with breath? You know, cause we don't want it to crack. But this is nice, it encourages the larynx to lift and to keep the resonance nice and high and shiny as well. At the moment, he definitely seems to be the most technical singer. That mix voice is spectacular. <laughs> this technique is what all the great belters do. Bruno Mars. <laughs> Brendan Yuri. <laughs> hard to control but a good place to start would be if you puff your cheeks out and like tighten your lips like this and try and sing the phrase this is a type of semi occluded vocal tract exercise or SOVT and basically because there's something in the way of your voice it doesn't have to work so hard and the resistance provided by the cheeks helps you develop strength and establish good breath pressure if you put a lot of time into doing that exercise it just definitely will pay off so is this for a reason? Is this like a vocal technique choice? No, 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 Oh, it's interesting. Korean and English. I wonder how that makes sense. If, you know, Korean, I guess it's really cool. And 
That would have just sounded like. <laughs> so, I'm glad that it doesn't. Ooh. Very good. That looks so cozy, doesn't it? Oh, here we go. dynamic duos within. I mean, it's natural, isn't it? There's 17 of them, you know. If three's a crowd, 17's a Walmart on Black Friday. There'll surely be little clicks going on. Very romantic. Okay. Oh, they're adorable. It just won't unfold his arms. Anyone. Oh, no. Maybe this. I like him. He's in his own lane. He's on his own. There is. <laughs> Everyone else has got their kind of cool pop star outfit on and he just looks like he's stepped out of the office. A little extended cigarette break. His colleagues at the bank can't know about his alter ego. He's basically like 
Superman without making the effort to change outfits. Although surely someone would have questioned the eyebrow bleaching. That's bold. Okay, so our next song is okay, Darling. Darling. It's our first English track and it's a love letter oh. to our carrots. So hope you guys really oh. love this song. It's for you. Did he just say it's a love letter to our carrots? I mean, I love carrots. They're really good for your eyes. They have a lovely vivid orange color. And stream Darling, Darling. Oh. Darling. <laughs> Oh. Very, very crying. Oh, that was high. Oh, a little vocoder. Fantastic. Nice. A lot of nasal resonance in his voice, but it works because it's so cool. Oh, he has a fantastic pop voice. Me, baby. Oh, that was brief. They said what they needed to say. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 Brazil. Oh, oh, I like this one. This has fun. <laughs> Fantastic, sassy vibes. Oh, I do like it. No, he might be my favorite. Oh, no, they're both my favorite. <laughs> Not very in time. That one was better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is not good for No, he needs to do that. He's not doing a good for Wider stance. Next time. Not that I'm that at all. Oh, yeah. okay. Left hand, right. Oh! He missed it. Let's go. 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 let us go yeah. He really is fantastic, no, he's definitely Oh, I like this one. Oh, it's such good, like it's really, it's such good, it's such good pop music. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is just so exhilarating. It just doesn't end in a really good way. Oh, Ooh, yeah. There's a lot more strength in his voice than that. Than my other favorite. But the other one can Seventeen years. Seventeen. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. They left all their meticulously engineered drilled water bottles. What a waste. Oh no, it's an uncle. Of course it bloody is. There they come. Nice! Oh, cute bracelet. Wow. Oh, his voice is very low. That makes sense because he's super tall. Oh, he's got a little bit of a 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 bit of a
Oh, and wow! Oh, he's full of me! Oh! Oh, so don't tell me it's a dancer! Oh! Killing boys, seventy collaboration. <laughs> well, I mean, there we have it. So I think I saw somewhere on there that it was like a mini album, which is such a terrific idea. It really was captivating and exhilarating. There wasn't really a dull moment. And I suppose when your album is only twenty minutes with like a gazillion songs, you know, it's just. It's, it's interesting because the Beatles, actually, in their first albums, their songs were much shorter. They were all extremely catchy and hooky. I wanna hold your hand, please please me, oh yeah, like I please you. Twist and shout, so how could I dance with another when I saw her standing there? Actually, I think the opening line of that track is, well, she was just seven. Conspiracy. I didn't know 95% of the things that they were singing about, but based on the fun loving vibe, it does seem that the contents of both these songs and the Beatles songs were of a similar nature, like, baby, I'm gonna touch your shoulder. They're obviously very polished and well groomed, and they were just really brilliant little pop tunes, and the singing was really impressive as well. There were at least three or four in there with exceptional vocal technique. They were all really good singers, but exceptional in terms of like, you can tell that they're trained. Because that mix technique is usually strength based, meaning that even if you have a natural talent, you need to develop the strength and stability and tone in that area. And that Beatles album came out in 1963, I think. So 59 years later, it's rearing its poptacular head in the form of 17 South Koreans. The concept of a mini album does seem rather novel and fresh, but I think what it is more than that is like a upcycling of something that really worked 60 years ago. I mean, trends seem to always operate in this kind of cyclical pattern. And I think that's just largely due to the fact that we're still human now, the same way that we were 60 years ago. So we all still fundamentally want the same things like joy and laughter. You can take the human away from joy and cram it full of internet and societal pressures and fear and shame and anxiety, but you will never take the joy out of the human. We all want to have a good time. And although each of the 8 billion quests on the planet right now look completely different, I truly believe that the sole desired outcome for each of them is happiness. And pop music throughout the ages has seemed to do exactly that. Otherwise they wouldn't call it pop, because it wouldn't be popular if people didn't like it, so. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If there are any singers you would like to see me react to, please do let me know down below in the comments or over on my Discord as it is always my pleasure. Have an amazing day. I love you so much and I cannot wait to see you again next time. Bye.